So hi guys, so now it's that morning and it's wet, gross, like everything is just wet on the ground, on the grass, everywhere. So yeah, today I gotta walk a little bit and take the bus and yeah. If I miss the bus, I'll just walk to school, so we will see. So tomorrow is Friday and one more day to go until the weekend. And the weekend will be busy because I have some assessment need to do, so I'll be a bit busy during the weekend. I have two assessments, I think. So yeah, it'll be busy, busy, busy. And of course I have one more exam I need to do as well. Like, So I need to study one subject for my exam, so which is accounting as you know, like yesterday vlog. Hi guys, now I'm home. So today I'm talking about my coding journey. So my coding journey is going pretty well. So I begin to learning the coding from this term week one to week eight. Now it's week eight, so it's almost week nine because it's on Thursday now. Tomorrow is Friday and yeah. So later I'll show you some basic things on my laptop, which is my coding from school and I'll tell you what I learned about. So it definitely will be confusing for you guys, but it's not easy to understand as well because it takes time, takes practice, and takes all the effort to learn. So yeah, it's going pretty good, I think. So I'll talk about some basic things first before I get into my laptop. So some basic things is easy is the software is called Pytrum. I will show you guys in that laptop later. So, so Pytrum is a platform for coding. So, it's not for professional coding, but it's for learning coding. So, this platform is for learning during the process until you get into like Java or Xcode or some professional coding software or platform but yeah this coding software is just some basic things include but it could be hard but it could be easy it depends on the task the teacher gave to us so gave to students and gave to yeah basically all the students so you need to use English to understand the task so you can write the program or write the code or type the code, whatever it is. You can use handwriting or using a laptop, but handwriting is just for like... So writing the code by hand on paper is for make you understand what's the step by step going on and you can type the code. It's just like using by paper is easy to go through all the steps and you can know how the code can actually works for your program or your software so it's hard to understand if you just code it straight away from looking at the task so yeah so we always have a book for my digital solution which is my coding class and using paper and pen is easier for people who just started and the teacher just tell us to always bring a book and a pen and your laptop and that's all it is so before you type the code you must have a paper writing so you know all the steps to go through the each line because there are separate lines you need to type in the coding software so yeah later you will see all of this and you will be confused but lots of numbers and some weird things you can understand because that some coding language is like different type of language like we are learning english but coding is other type of languages include numbers and english and some 
different types of meaningful things so and basically it's not that hard because now I'm been learning for a while and it just makes me like easier to understand when I'm writing something down and writing the notes during the class time so that will be basically easier for me to learn the coding for the progress so in the future my goal is like writing a website so the website could be hard because it takes lots of time and effort to work on it and you need to solve the problem during you type the code so typing the codes building a website it's not easy because when you're typing you need to go through all the step by steps and so bug is when you are coding and there are some problem you must go fix immediately so you must go fix straight away because so when something happened in your website you must go and fix it by the way because if something happened your website could crash straight away so you must go and fix it immediately because so if something going wrong and all the red like red sentence popping up you need to go and fix it so later you will see if I delete a numbers you will have a red line if I run my program so so later you can have a look with my program with my software with my coding software yeah just basically building a website is not that easy as you think you can just think about you know the many types of code and and of course each code have their meaning so when you're building a website so for example if you are building a video game so if you want to import random number from 1 to 6 so you need to type import random so the computer will know like you import some random number if you type from 1 to 6 so it's just very simple but it's not easy to understand when you're typing the code because it could be confusing and when you have something wrong so if one part is wrong the whole program will just crash so you need to be very specifically and make sure you understand what the program is about so so you make sure each line is correct so the whole program will just run basically just fine yeah let's get into my laptop so this is the laptop I'm using on this MacBook Pro 16 inch and I'm coding from this laptop so basically it's just some task from school so it's just some working example so I can understand how the code is going so it can be confusing for you guys because it could be very difficult to understand because you are just beginners and you just starting to understand how the coding works I'll just go through very quickly so there's a content and equal open files open because I import some files in here so I need to open the files by typing the code so after here open the files is read lines it means you can read all the lines in the files and basically it just go through some difficult things during this progress so basically it's like this and if I run it so if you see here here is the code it just came out so I run the code so this is probably fine but if I change so I can delete these things and this and I run my code it will be errors so so basically is something wrong in here your code won't work so basically that's for today's videos and it's about my coding journey so it's going pretty well and it's exhausting and so the coding only will be more difficult in the future so yeah I think I gotta keep coding my things and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow